Just made it in here on day one of the 2020 sheep hunt here in Idaho. And uh, a little exciting, long, long horse ride, but very thankful we had the horses uh, with all of our packs and gear. So all of the anxiety is kind of uh, fading away and just now we're kind of calming the nerves. Hopefully go lay our eyes on a big ram tonight and then uh, sit on him tomorrow. So here we are after waiting how many months? Eight months. So long time, long journey, but let the fun begin, right? It's not lying, it's just painting the best picture. Yeah. So instead of saying we're gonna go up this, we're gonna like, shunt, we're just gonna sneak over this way. We're gonna sneak back this way, right? Maybe cross the creek and come back. Yeah, a couple times, make a couple laps. <laughs> oh, shoot. What do you think, buddy? You ready? Light snack? Are you? Yeah, buddy. Still 100 pounds. Right sheet, on, man. Feels good. So our glassing point is where that burn, that burn turns to solid green up okay. there. See that lone green tree? Yeah. Straight up above that and that, okay. and that timber. We're gonna stay in the timber. It's a great spot there. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice scratch getting up to that one, but um, it's not far, it's just steep. Yeah. But I think tonight we'll go ahead and camp somewhere down below over there. And um, that way I don't have to stress it tomorrow being too close. We're just getting set up. It's kind of a brutal day. Altitude kind of got me a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna fire up the the uh, jet boil, and have some dinner, and get ready to get after it tomorrow. gonna go up here um try to find this colored ram again me and Jared my boy was in here uh, about four days ago and we put him to kind of put him to bed and left him in a good spot there so anyway he's a really cool ram We're gonna go up There's some cliffy stuff here behind us, but we found a pretty good way to get through it. So we're gonna go up and make it up through there and uh, and hopefully they're in the same spot and we're gonna watch them today. Stay on the mountain all day and just relax and uh, have a good day up there. So we, uh, we made the long hike up the mountain here and we've uh, found their bedding area and they're directly across from us. There's a 
little there's a burn area and then there's some green trees and stuff and they're hanging they're bedded right between this little between the green trees and, and a nice burn area where they've got plenty of food we'll put a stalk on them tomorrow hopefully they'll hopefully they'll feed down that mountain a little bit and come if they came directly across from us i feel comfortable with the shot but if not, sometimes we gotta go to them. Wait till he lifts his head up and turns. Let's do it. My stomachs are. Let's do this. Opening day. Yeah. Anyone else have jitters? Exciting. No. Just good, good jitters. Good Such jitters. Exciting ones. Exactly. See that ram moving right to by that tree there, see it? Up to the right of the, the tree with the sun. Yeah. Coming yeah down okay, yeah. down into the right next yeah, to the okay, Christmas yeah, Coming up from either side like this. Yeah. So if we stay on that back side, oh, the, back side gotcha. the wind's just gonna kinda come up and, and we should be okay. We're still being patient watching them, you know, we'll see. They're just in a tough spot right there. Okay, so the ram is not really where we expected him to be, which is typical sheep behavior, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> right now, they're 890 yards across this pole. We kind of feel like we need to watch the thermals and the wind, so 
this high peak and go down. And then we're gonna get up the back side of this one. And we're gonna stay on the opposite side to just to be careful. And then we've got a little crest, a little peak that we think will have a good vantage point. So it'll put us within four or five hundred yards. Just stay right there okay. on the ridge line and go up. Okay. Because they're gonna be down in the hole like yeah. this. You know, this wrapper gonna be. Yep. Oh man. Okay. He's a pig. Oh. He's right there. Oh my gosh! Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. What a beautiful. Oh. What a, just a gorgeous ranch. That's awesome. I can't even I can't even tell you. I'm okay. I'm a little tore up. No, I'm, just a little bit. Tell you what. It just like 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 old Will said, it, it don't get any prettier than this. No, it just anywhere. It, I mean, mean look. Full oh, curl. So beautiful. And he tips out. He's gonna be forty inches. 
Let me tell you. I, I'm just absolutely Julie, so thankful, you guys. I can't believe this sheep you got. No. What a banger. Oh, oh there's one there. Oh, there's so. a little one. Well, that's yeah. his first one. This is this is the first one, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And his lamb tip here is clear out yeah, here. That's, eleven. That's more like. He's at least eleven and a half. Yeah. He's he's he has everything. To be yeah. Oh my! I mean, I mean you guys. he just has everything. Such an absolutely beautiful animal. Hey guys. Get up here and look at this beast, man. Hey, thanks, buddy. What do you think <laughs> of that? You, buddy. <laughs> nice work, buddy. Thank you, buddy. You too. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you, You're man. You're welcome. Thank you. Good Thank job. You. Oh, yeah. A little bit and it took us a little while to get off the mountain. Um, I think we got here at camp maybe 5 a.m. and uh, kind of put everything to bed and uh, took a little short nap and it's uh, about 8.30 now and we're gonna, we've got a nice storm outside. We're gonna pack up and head back to civilization and I'm gonna kind of miss these mountains. 55? <laughs> Stay alive? Oh yeah! So I think probably one of the coolest things about sheep hunting or sheep hunters is just the fact that um, every sheep hunter understands that it's a team effort and they're all willing to wrap their arms around you um, from the Wild Sheep Foundation to the Idaho Wild Sheep Foundation um, and for me it's been such a blessing to have this guy, Jim Craig, right up the road, like 20 miles. Um, when I called him and he opened arms and just, he didn't have to do that. And that's one of the coolest things about sheep hunters. And I wish that all hunters had that enthusiasm and had that willingness to pass it on. You have to have a fire and passion for it. And as I explained to her, you have to be mentally tough and physically tough, and it's a lot more than most people wants to sacrifice in their life. Because, but when you see somebody that really has a passion for it, that comes out, and you want to help them, uh, and we try to help all every young people you can, and every types of hunting. But uh, the sheep hunting, in particular, you have to be passionate and to be able to do it. You just have to be in tremendous shape and, and it's mental toughness as much as anything. You just can't give up. You just have to grit your teeth and keep going. Measuring a sheep with a legend sheep hunter like this, you don't get to do this every day. Right? Yeah. Damn. How many more winters do you think this guy would make it? This sheep could have not made it through this winter because in every location it's a little different. But probably the most of any bighorn's going to live would be 13 years old. And he's beyond the breeding cycle now, which would, would probably be in November, or usually in this country, it would be November. And, but he's probably beyond that. They get old and, and they crippled up, and then you have other rams. Uh, and it shows in a bunch of rams the cycle that's coming up. Oh, you'd have an eight-year-old ram okay. here and stuff like that, and he'll be the dominant ram the next year. Yeah. But uh, these rams just have a life cycle that's not over, probably 12 years old at the most in this okay. country. 182 point, what was it? Dry country. Um, 182.125. Uh, so 182, 182 green score.
Yeah.